Welcome to the God Only Encouraging Message and Prayer Series. Messages from the heart of God to let you know that He has mercy for your failures and grace to help and good time for your every need. One of the things that God loves to share with His people, called by His name, born of His Spirit, is how valuable you are to God. God values you. He says that you're His workmanship. That means you're his masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works. That means that you have a job that he pre-planned beforehand that you should do. Knowing when you would be saved, knowing when he would make you a born-again believer in Christ Jesus, that was done beforehand so that you would know that the walk that you walk now in this life, you walk by faith in the Son of God. He tells you that you are special in his sight, highly favored, and that he calls you and names you, and you're known in heaven and on earth among all the principalities and powers and mights and dominions that you're a child of the living God. There's many people I've met throughout the years that have been told from their childhood that they'll never mount to anything or you can't do that. You don't have the gifts. You don't have the abilities. You don't have the, the talents that you need to accomplish what somebody else does. Not knowing that God in you is the one who gives you the talents and the abilities and they come and they manifest at the time they need to manifest so that you have exactly what you need when you need it, the time, the talent, and the resources to accomplish the purposes which he tells you that he has planned for you and that you will accomplish them because you do it in his strength and his wisdom and his understanding and with his help. At all times, God tells you that you are highly valuable. He tells you that you're a person of great value. The truth of it is, is that God proves how valuable you are because he sent his son to die for you. God the Father sent God the Son to die for you. To demonstrate, as he says in Romans 5, 8, his great love for you. And if God loves you enough to send his son to die for you, you are highly favored, highly valuable, highly loved by God. God wants you to know that nothing is impossible to you because He's with you. He's guiding you. He's directing your footsteps. He wants you to know that he loves you and he wants the absolute best for you. Nothing can ever change his mind about you because there's nothing that could have gotten him to change his mind in the beginning of what he was going to do for you. From the beginning, he planned to save you through his son, Jesus Christ. And once you're saved, you're in his care forever. He never tells us the way that you can get out of him being in you and you being saved. There's a lot of people that will tell you different, but that's because they're living in a sin consciousness. They're living in a sin mentality, trying to explain the reasons why other people do wrong. The truth of the matter is you're his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. That means that the Holy Spirit of God has came to live in you. And because he lives in you, that means that God himself in you gives you the power and desire to want to do those things that please him according to his good pleasure. That's just Ephesians 2.10. Excuse me, Philippians 2.12. God loves you. And he wants the best for you. Always. He desires to transform your sin nature into the very nature of Christ. He desires for you to know that you're so valuable to him. That he desires to live with you forever and live in you forever. And to help you forever and be your paracletus forever. To be living in you. Your body always being the temple of the living God. The Holy Spirit himself living in you and Christ living in you. So God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit live in you and nothing can change that. For when they come to live in you, 
The Holy Spirit himself stamps you with the seal of God's righteousness. You're righteous in the sight of God based on Jesus Christ sacrifice for your sins. And because he loved you, God purposed and planned for your life. And his purpose and plan for his life will be fulfilled because God gives you his Holy Spirit to guarantee that what God has promised, that he has a future and a hope for you, and that you are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do the good works which he prepared in advance for you to do. The Holy Spirit is the mighty resurrection power of Christ that raised him from the dead and set him at his Father's own right hand. He's at work in you, and he's the power and the might of God to accomplish through you everything that God's planned for you. So remember that God loves you. He wants the best for you, and that he's already given you everything you need coming just when it needs to come even mercy for your failures, to know that even when you blow it, even when you get a step ahead of what God had planned, then you are going to find that God's going to be there with welcoming arms, bringing you back into his bosom, hugging you and saying, son, daughter, I love you. I forgive you of your sins. Jesus paid for all of them. Just agree with me. Want what I want for you. Desire what I want for you. Desire those things that are good for you, that I bring to you. And trust me in every affair of life, and you will always find that nothing, nothing, nothing can separate you from my love. And nothing can stop you from accomplishing all that I have planned for you in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I just thank you for loving us and being kind to us, watching over us and helping us in all the affairs of life. Now, to you who can do exceedingly abundantly above what we can even ask, think, hope, or imagine, who planned it from the beginning when you made us your own children in Christ Jesus and made us your workmanship, to you be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. In Jesus' name, remember, God loves you. Values you. You're important to him to the point that he would send his own son to die for you personally and to send his own spirit to live in you forever just so that he can be close to you, his dear child, forever and ever. Trust God, depend on him, and you'll see that he's forever faithful on your behalf. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.